In this lecture we will discuss Cannizzaro reaction. When reacted with concentrated sodium hydroxide or other strong bases, for example alkoxides, aliphatic and aromatic aldehydes with no alpha hydrogen, undergo an intermolecular hydride transfer reaction, known as the Cannizzaro reaction. In this disproportionation reaction, one molecule of aldehyde oxidizes another to the corresponding carboxylic acid and is reduced to the corresponding primary alcohol. Consider for example the reaction of this aromatic aldehyde in the presence of sodium hydroxide or Lewis acid. Since both aldehydes are same, to understand which is oxidized and which one reduced, we write these in different colors. The products obtained are carboxylic acid salt and primary alcohol. Thus the black one is oxidized and blue one is reduced. The alkyl group can be non-enolyzable alkyl or aryl or heteroaryl, or H in case of formaldehyde. For example, benzaldehyde in the presence of sodium hydroxide base undergoes self-oxidation reduction to form sodium benzoate and benzyl alcohol. Similarly, formaldehyde being non-enolyzable undergoes disproportionate reaction to form sodium formate and methanol. In the first step of the mechanism, rapid addition of the hydroxide anion to one molecule of aldehyde results in the formation of a hydroxyl alkoxide ion. In the second step, this ion, like aluminium isopropoxide, acts as a hydride ion donor to the second molecule of aldehyde. This step is slow and thus rate determining. This converts the first aldehyde molecule into corresponding carboxylic acid, and the second aldehyde molecule is converted into alkoxide of primary alcohol. In the final step of the reaction, proton is transferred from acid to the alkoxide ion for the reasons of stability, thus giving corresponding salt of carboxylic acid and primary alcohol. Therefore first aldehyde molecule in black color is oxidized to carboxylic acid and the second aldehyde in blue color is reduced to primary alcohol. The reaction rate is second order in aldehyde and first order in base, that is, reaction follows third order law. This is obvious because rate determining step involves the hydroxyalkoxide formed from base and aldehyde and another molecule of aldehyde. That the hydride ion comes from the aldehyde and not from the reaction medium has been proved by performing reaction in the presence of D2O. The recovered alcohol doesn't contain any deuterium, confirming that this hydrogen comes from aldehyde and does not become free in solution. Canizaro reaction is suitable for heteroaldehyde also. Thus, furfural when treated with sodium hydroxide undergoes self-oxidation reduction to form sodium salt of 2-furoic acid and furfural alcohol. When formaldehyde undergoes cross-Canizaro reaction with other aldehydes not having alpha hydrogens, it is seen that formaldehyde is oxidized to sodium formate and other is reduced to corresponding primary alcohol. Thus, out of the two aldehydes, the nucleophilic attack occurs more readily on the more electrophilic aldehyde, formaldehyde in the above case. Factors which reduce electrophilicity of the aldehyde carbonyl carbon retard the reaction. For example, in case of paradimethylaminobenzaldehyde, the mesomeric electron donation by nitrogen reduces the electrophilicity of the aldehyde carbonyl carbon. Thus this molecule doesn't undergo Cannizzaro reaction. One of the most important application is the cross Cannizzaro reaction between the enolyzable aldehyde and formaldehyde, which is non-enolyzable. The first step will be cross-aldol addition, 
so that alpha hydrogen is replaced by hydroxymethyl group. The product, beta hydroxyaldehyde, then undergoes cross Cannizzaro reaction with formaldehyde, so that former is reduced and formaldehyde is oxidized. Thus, aldehyde is reduced to hydroxymethyl group, and formaldehyde is oxidized into sodium formate. Likewise, acetaldehyde has three enolizable hydrogens. Upon treatment with formaldehyde in the presence of base, cross-aldol addition replaces all three hydrogens by hydroxymethyl groups. This non-enolizable trihydroxymethylacetaldehyde now undergoes cross Cannizzaro reaction so that formaldehyde is oxidized and acetaldehyde is reduced to hydroxymethyl group. This gives pentaerythritol methane which is an important component of paints. Dialdehydes and alpha-ketoaldehydes undergo intramolecular Cannizzaro reaction, giving various valuable products. Consider for example, this phenyl glycol, which is an alpha-ketoaldehyde. The basic hydroxide anion will preferentially add to more electrophilic aldehyde than to the keto group. This forms hydroxyalkoxide, in which intramolecular hydride ion transfer to keto group changes it to alkoxide. This undergoes intramolecular proton transfer from acid to alkoxide to form sodium salt of mandelic acid. Likewise, glycol, a dialdehyde, in the presence of sodium hydroxide, undergoes intramolecular oxidation reduction to form sodium salt of glycolic acid. This under acidic conditions gives glycolic acid. Similarly two molecules of glyoxalic acid, under basic conditions, undergo Cannizzaro reaction. One molecule is reduced to form product sodium glycolate, and other is oxidized to form product sodium oxalate.